Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with a, a video response that uh, Devils uh, Toys UK uh, had, and he was talking about. Oh, hang on, let me back up and find it real quick. Um, why did the Thundercats and other other cartoons fail in the modern age? So basically, he's talking about. You know, they we've seen a revamp of He-Man. We've seen a revamp of Thundercats. Uh, we've seen G.I. Joe, Transformers multiple times, uh, My Little Pony. Uh, we've seen the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and we're about to see them again. And his question was, so in, in, in regard especially like Thundercats, because they're they're going to cancel the Thundercats series. Uh, so I think it's lasted, what, one season, maybe two? Um, so why, why, why are these failing, he asks. And I don't... You know, he comes up with some good good ideas and good concepts, and he talks about maybe it's voice actors, the music, that kind of thing. There are there are pros and cons to these reboots. And first off, let me say a reboot is never going to be as successful as the original. Period. Whether it be a movie or a TV show, a comic book, whatever. Uh, and there are some exceptions. I mean, like the Batman, the Dark Knight. I guess that's a reboot uh, to an extreme, and that has made uh, successful uh, money. And you know, in some films, you're going to see that. But for for the most part, you're not going to don't go into it expecting oh, I'm going to make tons of cash in a reboot. I'm going to make enough money because I have a previous audience to come and see it. So another thing is, he asked, are the kids so different today than they were in the 80s? Is, does that have an effect? Because we get these kids playing, you know, um, Modern Warfare and Grand Theft Auto and Halo and all these, all these games that are, you know, Assassin's Creed, all these games that are out and about, you know, and it's different than, than when we were kids, you know. Does that have an effect? And I, I think it does to, to an extent. And another question he asked, which is very interesting, is... I mean, a lot of the cartoons that we have are rehashes of stuff we've had in the 90s and the 80s, and we haven't had anything really new action-wise. Um, and that's a very valid point. And he said he challenged the audience to come up with an original action drama adventure cartoon series that wasn't a remake of something else, that you know, that wasn't a comic book or anything like that, or a movie, or, or just a flat-out remake. And that's a really damned hard thing to ask. And respond to and the only thing that's coming to mind is Disney's gargoyles and that was in the fucking 90s so we don't have anything really new and original to captivate the kids so you know why are these failing I don't know if there's so much a fail as are not as big a success as these companies would have wanted and I'm gonna say this for a few reasons number one what measures success? Money, length of the show, popularity, uh, pop culture, status. You know, what? what is the measure of success? If they make more money than they put out, if they return money, then that is a successful TV series, right? Show, cartoon, whatever. Well, the problem is, I don't think, you know, and... And, and Devil, Devil said, you know, hey, I think it's the voice actors. They weren't as dynamic. I don't think they had a good, as good of music. Well, I don't think that's the case. I think there's nothing wrong with the voice actors. Uh, I think today's voice actors are fine. I think that they do a good job and they do what they're supposed to do. The music in the 80s flat out sucked. Let's take some nostalgia goggles off. If you ever watch uh, the nostalgia check, uh, check her out. She's hilarious. And she's got some points. Um, take the nostalgia goggles off. I love the Thundercats. I love Transformers. I love G.I. Joe. All that stuff when I was a kid. But when you go back and look at it, the music sucked ass. Um, a lot of the voice actors were overdramatic. <clears throat> and the plots were kind of simple. Well, and, and they didn't last forever. Transformers had three fucking seasons. That's it. Okay? He-Man had two. She-Ra had one. Okay? Uh, you know, look at these shows. They didn't last that long. G.I. Joe had two, maybe three seasons. Uh, they just played them over and over and over again, and they were long seasons. They were, they were through the week type of deals, and He-Man was the first one to do that, to do 65 episodes in a season. And is that successful? Yeah, sure. I mean, in, in, in television, if you could make 
uh, uh, two to four seasons, you have struck gold as far as selling your product, uh, sell, selling that kind of stuff. So, I mean, the He-Man reboot, I think, was two seasons long. Um, Thundercats looks like it's a season, maybe two seasons. But, I mean, if you're getting two to three seasons out of a cartoon, television-wise, you're doing it right. You're selling the uh, network and you're selling the advertisement. Okay, So how do you make money off of that? It's not the television show. It's the toys. It's the product. It's the merchandising. And I think that is where companies have failed with these new reboots. Uh, because the He-Man show, the He-Man reboot was fine. It was great. I really dug it. I thought it was very well done. And he's right. We get more character development. Uh, we get more action sequences. We get a lot better story than we did in the 80s. But we've lost some of that charm. And that's a very good point. I'm going to talk about that. Uh, but the, the major fail is not on the writers, it's not on the actors, production value, it's marketing. And I've noticed that with cartoons, and I've noticed that with films here. They are piss-poor marketed. Um, the He-Man figures were outstanding. When was the last time you saw a toy commercial? That's why the original He-Man series was so successful. We got this brand new cartoon, it was fun, it was adventure, and it did break grounds as far as cartoon goes, but we were flooded with toy commercials. Okay, Transformers, G.I. Joe, Jim, She-Ra, all the same way. We had those toy commercials shoved down our throats. The show was a freaking toy commercial. Okay, And what did we do? Mom, Dad, I want them for birthday, I want them for Christmas, while we're here at the store, can you buy me one, please, please, please? That's what sold that crap. Okay? You don't see that today. You don't see commercials for Transformers. You don't see them for G.I. Joes. You don't see them for He-Man. You didn't see them for the Thundercats. That's the problem. They're not making fucking commercials. They're not selling the product. Okay, they can't just make a show and hope, oh, the kids are going to go out and buy the product. That doesn't work. You've got to force feed all this down their throats. That's why it worked in the 80s. Okay, and if that's not done today, you're not going to make money. Movies are the same way. Look at um, Avatar is kind of a bad example because it made a lot of money. But figure and merchandise wise, it blew, blew it because, I mean, look at Star Wars. Avatar versus Star Wars on product sales. There is so much more merchandising in the Star Wars universe than there is Avatar because George Lucas saturated the market with the toys and the advertisement. There were so many cool things in Avatar that we could have got toys out of. Make the commercials, make the toys. They didn't market it right. Um, John Carter, another great example. Where the hell were the toys? That would have been a great marketing for Disney. Here's the toys, here are the toy commercials, buy, buy, buy. And that probably would have made them a lot more money. Um, same thing with Priest. I just watched Priest not too long ago. I, where are the toys? There's so many figures you can make toys out of that they didn't do. And more importantly, advertise. Put them on TV. Put the commercials. Now, I've seen some Transformers Prime toy commercials, mostly on the Internet. And the ones that I haven't seen, I think I've seen one, one toy commercial. It was very brief on the hub during Transformers. That's not going to cut it, kids. If you want to sell product, first of all, you have to make the toys, and you have to make the toys that people are going to want to buy. You, could, you have to have the collectors, especially if you're doing a reboot from an 80s cartoon. People my age have to want to buy it. Two, the kids who are watching it have to want to buy it, because the kids that are watching it are probably my kids. All right? And you have to make the toys both want, and you have to advertise. They're not doing that. That's why this shit is failing. Okay? Um, and that's why trans you know, Transformers is a little different because it has such a strong and, and, and nasty fan base. It's almost like Star Wars or Star Trek where you could put something out and the fans are going to buy it. And that's just the fan base that Hasbro has. Now, there are other franchises they've reboot that have done okay. G.I. Joe is, is doing so-so. It sells the figures and it sells the show. I don't know how much longer it's going to last, but it's not Transformers Prime. Um, now, another flip, though, My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, is 
banking as far as marketing dollars on the show because who they got to reboot it. They they got uh, the lady who did uh, Powerpuff Girls and a lot of the voice actors in production from that. So it's doing really well on that aspect. And the toys are selling like crazy because they're not expensive. And it's something like, oh, hey, I had one of those when I was a kid. I'm going to get my little girl one of these. And they advertise. I've seen My Little Pony commercials. So Hasbro has it down. Warner Brothers totally, totally dropped the ball on Thundercats. Where the hell were the commercials for the toys? Because the toys weren't bad. They were actually pretty decent. Um, you know, G.I. Joe's the same way. I haven't seen any G.I. Joe commercials. Now, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles may do something uh, because I have seen advertisements for the toys already on TV. And that's the thing with Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon is geared towards kids. The new toys look really cool, and they, they did a good job with them. It looks like a decent reboot, um, as long as the story's there. And they advertise the toys. That's what's going to sell the product. Without doing that, it's not going to work. Um, and as far as losing some of that charm, that's very true. If you're doing a reboot, We've seen these over and over. We've seen many Transformers. We've seen G.I. Joe rebooted a couple times already. My Little Pony is on the fourth generation. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is, I think, on the third or fourth generation. So we have seen these. And that is wearing thin. The magic's gone. If you're going to want to capture that magic, you have to come up with something new and different, which is difficult. Um, but if you're going to reboot something from the 80s or even 70s that we haven't seen in a while, pick something that people don't remember well, and especially kids today. Something they're not going to remember, things that Hanna-Barbera has done. And I think that is uh, an area uh, that Hanna-Barbera could really tap into. You know, things like Space Ghost, uh, things like uh, the Blue Falcon, um, and Dynamut. Uh, you know, you could look at the Herculoids, Look at Thundar the Barbarian. Those cartoons kids have never heard of. And we will remember because they are so far back. They predate, you know, the Transformers and G.I. Joe. But I do remember those, and I really did like them. And I think those could succeed because they're gritty. Some of them are very gritty, and uh, some are very very family-friendly. Friendly, but uh, there's something that these kids have not seen in a while, and they could reboot it. But the big thing is... A reboot is fine, but you have to advertise and market it properly. Without good marketing, your product is not going to sell, period. So there it is. There's my opinion on it. What do you guys think? Uh, leave a comment. Check out uh, Devil's, Toy, uh, Devil, Devil's Toys UK2. I'll put a link to uh, the video, his video on here. Um, you know, create a video response. I think this is a really good question, and I think it deserves... Um, some exploration and some discussion on the topic. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great weekend, and don't play too hard.